So here she is, the Range Rover, in bits again. Uh, and it's, this time it's because of a CV boot. So uh, there's the grease that got flicked out all up the wheel arch. As you can see, it's all the way around there. It's been leaking for a little while. Um, so in order to get the, uh, the drive shaft out, it wasn't as bad as I actually thought it was going to be. So disc off, disc uh, splash plate off, caliper off. I undone these, uh, the bottom one was actually seized um, and when I took the nut off I couldn't move the bolt it, and it wouldn't tap out either, I didn't want to hit it too hard because it was it started to burr at the end even with a with this um, this dead blow rubber hammer it started to like get a bit funky at the end there so I um, put a spanner on the back side of on the actual bolt and, and, and twisted it I think it loosened it up a little bit so I might stick a, a bit of a wire brush in there to clean that hole out because I think that's where it got got bound up but I undone those um, and then got the big socket down there the 36 miller on the on the splined uh, nut at the end of the CV joint there spun that off and then and then pulled pulled this down um, and left the bolts in in here until I'd undone the big hub nut and then I took the bolts here out uh, pulled that down and then the drive shaft just basically uh, was, was stuck in here so I've got a great big puller which is a bit like a hydraulic jack with arms on it and I put that on on the back of the hub there put it on the drive shaft and pushed it and it just it literally just popped out um, once I've taken the CV joint out of here what I then did was um, I just grabbed hold of it and, and pulled it a few times and, and what that done was it's 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 a, a telescoping uh, drive shaft and it worked like a slide hammer and it basically popped it out of uh, in here it popped it out of inside the diff um, and the whole thing came out as far as the ARB which I've then had to jack up with this sprinter jack in order to push it out of the way uh, and that allowed the CV joint to then pass through this gap here and then um, got it out and put it on the bench and we'll go and have a look at that now So here's the uh, drive shaft in one piece. Um, so this bit goes into the uh, diff. There's a snap ring at the end there, and that's what you have to pull against to get it out. And as we come along, that's where the uh, oil seal in the diff runs on on this this part here. You can see where it's really shiny. Uh, in in a CV joint, you've got a bit of a telescoping drive shaft there. That's what you pull against, and it. It, it, when it gets to its limit which is a little bit further out that's what jerks it out of the out of the uh, differential which worked quite nicely uh, and then at this end that's where the CV joint the outer CV joint goes um, here is the actual outer CV joint it's um, it's been cleaned up a bit I, there was a bit of surface rust on here so I picked that off gave it a bit of a wire brush and then uh, stuck a bit of paint over it to, to keep it in reasonably good condition the um, ABS ring there as you can see is, is not got any rust on it whatsoever. The CV joint inside here is, is in good condition. There's, there's like no play in it. It does feel still quite um, quite uh, nice and, and secure in there. The grease itself had really uh, had really broken down. Here's, here's the inner boot and, and the grease is still in there but as you can probably see here it's it's just really really runny so i think it started to break down um which means it's probably not lubricating quite as well as it should do and the boot itself has gone really really hard it's lost lost all of its pliability which is probably why it's split the other, well, the other one split this is the inner one it's the outer one that split but uh, it's probably time that they were replaced due to the fact they've lost their pliability now so if you've got one and you're car is 10 years old or more i would suggest you have a look at those before um they split and start spraying grease out everywhere because obviously the next step after that is is lack of lubrication and then uh, a seizure which means a new drive shaft so hopefully i've got this nice and early and um, i can get the new boots on and get it back in the car i don't expect it's going to take long to get it back in the car actually it was a lot simpler than i thought it was and i'll uh, i'll get the old camera out and i'll, I'll try to film the procedure of, of putting it all back together when I get the boots and get them back on here.